The shipping industry is a multi-billion dollar industry. The reason it's that big is because the majority of goods transported by many countries, and certainly the UK, actually come in by ship. So if we were in a situation where that traffic was compromised, it wouldn't be very long before the economic engine of the country was significantly pressured by any such attacks. There's a well-known problem in that a cyber attack can do a number of different things. The obvious one is break something to the point where it's obvious something has gone wrong and then can be mitigated. The more insidious attacks will cause something to happen that eventually leads to the effect, but do it in such a way that it isn't obvious to the crew that something is going wrong. Ransomware is a particularly interesting form of cyber attack. Ransomware in a traditional office environment denies you access to certain parts of your data and will only grant that access again if you pay the ransom. You could imagine in the maritime sector a number of different applications of ransomware ranging from locking out access to things like manifest and other commercial data. You could also imagine a scenario where the ship itself was held to ransom. If certain systems were locked out, the ship operators would find it more cost effective to agree to pay the ransom rather than to try and solve the problem by other means. In today's industry, it's probably true that most mariners, particularly bridge crews, are not particularly aware of cyber risks and are not particularly well trained to respond when things happen. They're very well trained to respond to sea-based emergencies, but I think it's very unlikely that their training will have covered either the possibilities of malicious action by people in the cyber domain and how they should respond if they do see such attacks. It's just not understanding the degree of connectivity the modern ships have. Basically, once a ship is connected, that means it's a vector of attack for a cyber attacker. No matter how well protected or how sophisticated that channel is, if the channel exists, the ship can be affected. So I think if people are working on the old principle of, I don't need to be worried, I'm far away out in the middle of the ocean, that is at some point going to be a very expensive mistake. Ships are a very vulnerable target to both cybercrime and cyber terrorism. And we are hoping that through activities like this and our research work, we can help to mitigate this problem, since we do believe that it is a very serious concern and is a classic critical national infrastructure problem.